Ryan. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We got five days a week, we go seven hours a day, we go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Always do your best. Express your own divinity. You don't need the acceptance of others. You don't need knowledge or great philosophical concepts. You have the right to be you and express your your own divinity by being alive, loving yourself, and loving others. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 177, NASDAQ up 88, SP's up 17 and a half, gold contract up a buck 70, trading at 1995 an ounce. We got silver up two cents, $23.08 an ounce. Light sweet crude, take a hammering. Down 265, $68.67 a barrel. That's on its way to the low end of the consolidation, which is 64. Notes and bonds. Can't keep them down, folks. Bottom line, you get the 10 year up six ticks right now, trading 110.17. The 30 year up a half a point at 119.16 in King Dollar. King Dollar is down 256 ticks, trading 103.840, Euro 107, Yen 145, British pound. 125 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of Broadcom, AVGO, that's trading like it's 1999, folks. Bottom line, if you want to see an equity that's trading like 1999, well, it's Broadcom. This thing took off yesterday. Now, the analyst came out and said, okay, AI is going to help them. Bottom line is that you're up 100 bucks in three days. Uh, pretty amazing. SPY, let's go take a look at the SPY out here. And, you know, if we take a look at the futures, they want to run this. They're going to run this right into the close, folks, okay? They already got it up. Bottom line is that this is, this is a market that wants to run. You get the SPY right now trading at 464. You're up two bucks. Uh, bottom line, you know, this, this, they want the highs. The highs are coming after us, man. And, you know, this month is going to go, be going quick. You're going to come into the ho 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 santa claus and uh, uh then on top of that window dressing and uh you get the gist of it man time wise guess what it, it's here and the x100 you know that's even stronger you know the ndx right now you're 28 million shares we did 41 million yesterday i suspect that's gonna get above that and this is laying right next to its high so this this wants to tap its high as does the dow industrials the dow industrials right now you know, we're, the high is 952, I think, at 30,952, and we're already at uh, 586. And you don't have, here, you remember this, okay? See, we, the S&Ps did their ABC structure up, but you got to remember, Microsoft is an ABC up also with a 412 handle, okay? We're trading 372. So bottom line, that's all that would have to actually happen for the Dow Industrials to basically get all-time highs pretty wild man notes and bonds we take a look at the note and bond market out here we have with the note and bond market that also doesn't want lower price that wants higher price lower yield we had the cpi come in you know bottom line come in at three percent um which is not bad that that you know didn't didn't come on to come in at that expectation so you have the uh the 10 year right now up six ticks 101.6 million contracts traded um that, I suspect, is going to build some cause here first in order to get to higher because the, when we did come down Friday, come down with some volume, but not the type of volume that we were going into, tremendously lighter volume. Now you can see we got it to a price point today of 110.31, gave up half of that. So I suspect we're going to be going sideways for a bit there. And then gold. Gold, gold is still having a hard time, folks. Um, bottom line is that uh, it's having a hard time holding price. Now you're up a buck, big deal, right? You know, you hit 1992 as a low out here today. You do have a huge contraction of volume, which you need, but you need the rejection of lower price also. You need both happening. And they're, they're, they're still at the gold and the equities are still at a level where this turn, you know, is really imperative to take place because if it doesn't, you're gonna get down to the lower end of that consolidation. And then we get over to the good old dollar. We take a look at the dollar. 
Um, dollar right now is, is finding some support kind of right, right where we are right now. You know, that came down, came down hard. You know, we'll see how this shakes out. It's, it's given it up today. Uh, uh, earlier in the day when the CPI came out, it went down and then it rejected lower price at the 103 457. That being said, yeah, it hasn't been able to hang on. It has, the dollar hasn't been able to hang on each and every day. That's what it really comes down to. And I suspect as we get into the close here, what you're going to see, the dollar is going to get weaker. And, <laughs> and this S&P just wants to run, man. You know, when, they, when you can run markets, folks, okay, you got to remember something, right? It's real easy running markets when, you know, you get the amount of machines that are taking place when we actually have already run this far, okay? And, you know, you only have, there's, there's only one swing point left, you know. The, the one swing point that's left is the high, you know. So when you do go from swing to swing, folks, okay, the bottom line is that they're like magnets. That's what it comes down to. And when you put the deal together with the note and bond market, as well as the, you know, the dollar, the bottom line, to me, this thing has room to run. You know, what I, what I suspect we're going to see <laughs> is that, you know, I brought up Broadcom because I wasn't kidding when I was saying that's trading like 1999. You know, and if you were around in 1999, you used to wake up every day and it would be two or three stocks that would, you know, pop 20. And if we see that, then that is going to be a huge problem, man. <laughs> right now, I don't, I don't see a problem ahead. I, you know, yeah, you're going to get a correction or something, you know, first of the year or whatever. But the bottom line is that if we start seeing stocks pop, you know, ten, twenty dollars, yeah, then then that, that's a whole different uh, ball game, you know. And um, you know, it, it's going to be intriguing. Is, is it is it money managers that are trying to catch up at the end of the year? Are they not in? Are they in? You know, there's there's a lot of different things that are in there. But the bottom line is that there's buying, there's buying, and there's no selling. That's what we have out here. Dow, Dow Industrials right now up 179. You get the Nasdaq up 88. S&Ps are up 17 and a half. Um, notes and bonds, they just continue to higher price, lower yield. Stay right there, folks. Come right back with our man, Mr. Basil Chapman.